But an ambulance is what the bombs will send. Convinced that we'll resent accomplishment when peace is our prerogative. Let's get on top of it and on to it. Let's get on top of it and on to it. My name's Abbott, and I'm here at the Meg Perry Center preparing for the Sensory Circus Art Show, which is going to be opening this first Friday, February 1st. And as the curator of the show, I determined which artists would be in the show, um, came up with just the general concept, and then once I decided the artists who I wanted to be in the show, I went through the process of trying to make sure they were all just kind of like staying on task and getting stuff done, and I've done a lot of promotion for the show, and then um, just kind of just organizing everything and um, getting the show up on the walls, which I had help with from some of the artists. It's been two months that I've had to put this whole show together from general concept all the way up till the finished product, which is going to be in a couple days. Um, so yeah, it's been a very intensive process that's gotten more intensive as it's gone along. To be a curator, it takes having an overall vision and then having kind of the persistence and organization skills and like, I guess, social skills and patience to put it together. And um, once again, like having having people to help you really, really helps. <laughs> There's a certain type of art that people come to expect to see on First Fridays. And there's always like new interesting stuff going on, but I don't think that anything like this has really happened before in Portland. So I feel like um, I, I have a feeling that people are gonna come in and be kind of scared to touch the art, scared to smell the art, scared to taste the art, because that's something that's, you know, you go into a museum or you go into a normal gallery and people are saying, no, get two feet away from the art. And that's something that I always, um, when I was younger and just like going to museums and galleries for the first time, I just, I'd always get yelled at for going really close. Like I always wanted to touch stuff so badly. And I remember thinking when I grow up, I want to have an art show where people can touch the art and can interact with the art. So I think there's going to be a lot of um, me and the other artists walking around being like, it's okay, you can, you can interact with it. You can completely like, let it envelop all your senses and don't be afraid to do that. I want them to leave just being almost like in a state of shock at how like, overwhelming the show was. And I want them to leave saying, this is like nothing I've ever experienced before. And I want them to need like a week to kind of process everything. And I want them to go away just having to like, call people they know or contact people they know to just say that show is so crazy. So I want it to be very, um, just a very new experience and something that's just so completely, this is something that feels like people just stepped onto another planet, something just completely different. This is like the most amazing community of artists I've ever experienced and it's like more than I ever dreamed of being a part of. Like I always want to kind of find that group of artists that just are super driven and passionate and willing to do stuff and who make great things and um, who are just like wonderful interesting people and I feel like um, I feel like the art community in Portland is exactly that and is getting better by the minute.